help us get wood. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah. They must like just cover this. Oh, whole for sure. Mitty! Come on, baby. Oh, interesting. Mate. It's nice like that you saw her. Lizards and birds and mice and moles. So there's that one. This is, yeah, that would be a good one. That's the same kind that we just cut up. The lodge ball? Yeah. I like that. It's beautiful wood. Let's see if this one over here is rotted. And then there's a dead standing one lodge ball in there somewhere. Somewhere in there. I think I see it right, right through there. It's somewhere. Size. Must be old, I mean, for birch to get that big. I mean, they grow quick, I guess. Hey, right. hello everybody. Welcome back to the homestead. Yeah, thanks for joining us today. We are on the backside of the mountain on like a little more milling mission. Mm -hmm. Yep, we are on a mission to cut as much wood as possible uh, for our shiplap boards and whatever else we may need. Yep. So we're trying to get an early start, beat the heat. We just realize we're matching. Perfect. Um, but there's this birch back here that has actually been down on the road in, I don't know if it's good, but it's actually a pretty fair sized birch for a birch tree, um, around here at least. So we're gonna cut into it, make sure like the middle isn't rotted or anything, and hopefully it's good to go and drag it back up and over. Yeah, let's do it. Cool. Okay. Nice job, dear. It smells like dog poop. I wonder who just took a poop. Oh, okay. It's going to be interesting to see if four wheeler can pull this even. Let's try it. I don't think it's rotted. It doesn't look super rotted, at least, if it is. Bless you, Jed. Good girl. Hi. 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 And you, I interest you in a ride? Hey, yes, please. Drop that first piece off. We're back here for round two. Get the other half of this big birch. Yeah, it's a little longer, but skinnier. Yeah, top half. Top half. On route two out of it, at least. Smells like poop again back here. There's a turd somewhere in this area. Was it you? Was it you, Jed?
All right, that's much too heavy for us to get out of here. So we're gonna cut off part of this top. Maybe come back for it. Maybe come back for it. Let's see. Look at him. He's just standing behind you getting blasted. <laughs> it's after his father. He loves it. He loves it. Let's see what we got for length on this. It looks like it gets a little punky. Yeah, that big old knot there. No. If you look at like the wood itself, it yeah. started to rot. What is it? Nine foot five to the end, <laughs> but of usable stuff, about nine foot two. Perfect. So we got the first half of this tree all cut up. I put the little pile right here. It's super pretty. Um, you can tell that in the wood, this black stuff is like kind of starting to rot, but it actually isn't very much. And it made the wood look really, really nice. Kind of pulled it out a little bit. You can kind of see here. We're gonna cut, cut up the rest of that tree, the second half. Hopefully the next half looks just as cool as this stuff does. So now we have, man, like 
three different species of wood piled up on the deck here. Check this out, guys. All right, guys, so we'll start on this side here. These very end boards that you see right here, these are all the extras. So I can only go so low on the mill before I'm gonna start hitting the log stops. And this is the thickness that we end up with. That uh, It's about inch and a half thick, so these are usable boards. They're just kind of random. And then over here, these top ones are the birch, and this turned out super good. And then underneath those, we got lodge pole, back it up. You can see we got quite a few boards of the lodge pole. This here is also the lodge pole. And then coming back to the birch, I think we got two layers of birch here. And all these are cut to the thickness for shiplap. And then these posts here, these are cedar posts. Those actually used to be telephone poles. And those are gonna be the supports for the cabin up at the top. So we have a ton of wood and it's super cool. Like we're finally starting to see this stuff stack up and like you can actually see mm -hmm. the potential and like the big picture it's towards the end. Into something yeah, sure. so it's super cool, but it's getting really hot here yeah. and we need some lunch. So we'll see you after lunch. See you after. After lunch, what did we do? Oh yeah, it was so hot. Not wait, it was too hot. We weren't feeling it, so we went for a dip in the creek. Yeah, it was like a hundred degrees in the shade. Super hot. Yeah, so we we pulled off for a while. Yeah, we played that game, did some indoor stuff, did some online stuff, but this morning we're back at it. Heading up the mountain, there is quite a bit of wood. We're just gonna have to work for it a little bit. We're gonna go find some more trees. Yeah. It's nice wood. I know, it is nice wood, and it's clean up too. Yeah, let's just take this one. <laughs> okay. So we have this nice lodgepole pine. It's already on the ground. Mm, well, off the ground, but down. Off the ground, but down, yeah. sure. Lots of limbs. Lots of limbs. These lodgepoles are just like loaded with branches. Um, so they kind of suck to clean up, but it is worth it, I guess. It's a yeah. nice nice chunk of wood. It's beautiful wood, and it'll be nice to get this tree off the property. Yeah, clean up as well. Yeah. Put to use. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. Yeah, word. Here, why don't, why don't we I'll cut it and then pull it out, and then we can cut it on the road. Okay. Yeah, that'll be good. Nice job. Thought I was gonna get squished for a second. <laughs> you were ready. You're nice and aware. <laughs> so do you wanna pull it out and then I'll make the sh chain shorter? Yeah, same thing. I wish it had brakes. It would make it so much easier. <laughs> I know. 
a nice four wheeler. I can try to roll the log. About to get whipped by this branch. Yeah, be careful. Jet. Heading back to the bottom, I had to go get some shorts on. It's already 87 degrees here. It's only 10.30 in the morning, so it's hot. Liz is up at the top, she's still changing. I'm gonna get a jump on this log before she comes down. Hands got to this one pretty good. That yeah. sucks, yeah. Let's show everybody. It's all super soft. There's still little baby ants everywhere. Man. I think I'm gonna try to flip it though and start to cut down this way, away from it. And we might be able to get a few usable boards out of it. This isn't rot, that's just color. Everything else is okay. It's a little soft right there, but definitely not as bad as right here. All the holes and everything in it. All right, I'm trying to just move these boards around a little bit. When we're milling the last few days, I didn't do a very good job of separating them by tree. So that's what I'm doing right now. I've got all birch in this pile and then all pine in this pile. So what Mike is cutting right now is gonna go to this pile because it's the same kind of pine tree. Hopefully we can cut that out. All right, guys, so we need a little input from anybody that knows trees. This guy back here, we have no idea what it is. It's very fast growing. We have super fast video footage of us putting up this shed like last March or so, and it wasn't here like no. at all. So we have no idea what it is. I like cut it down last year, not at the roots, but like hacked completely yeah, smooth. I hacked it. Gone, gone. And this is like less is, than a year later. Yeah, this is like three months of like somewhat summertime growth. Yeah. It's so, huge. I mean, I'm almost six feet tall and it's way over my head. It's like a jungle tree. Here, yeah. So I'm gonna, I don't know. I'm going to get a good shot of it. Yeah. Let's see. Anybody knows what this tree is? Let us know. It, yeah. Like I said, it almost looks kind of jungly. We've been told it might be a hemlock, right? Yeah. That's like just straight up green, you know, it's a young tree. 
Oh, you should show them the one over there that we think is the same one, but has been here for a while. For a while, yeah. yeah. So I'm just walking, I mean, I don't know, 50 yards or so to this other tree over here that we think is the same tree. Um, but I mean, this was here long before we moved in. So it looks different. The leaves look similar. Obviously the branch looks, or the branches and like the uh, bark looks different because it's a lot more established. And then it has flowers on it. So here I'll show you. And this one we think is hemlock. So if anybody thinks they're the same tree, which actually now that I'm looking here, I'll show you guys. It definitely is the same tree. So you've got this young stuff growing out of the branches here. Huh, yeah. So it's for sure the same tree. So we don't want to completely get rid of this little tree that's over by the shed over here because I mean, it's a nice tree and we don't want to get rid of trees. So we're thinking about somehow, you know, digging it up and moving it since it is super fast growing, it might be okay. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments, you guys, what do you think this tree is? We're trucking along. We got some more wood here. Another one of those big lodge pole pines we pulled out. Yeah, we have a ton of it now. Mm -hmm. As you can see behind us, the pile is definitely growing. So now we got lodge pole, we got birch, we got cedar posts. Mm -hmm. um, and we have actually some cedar shiplap over the house too. That's drying as well. Right. So we have a ton of stuff to use as wall material. Yep, we need we need it, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, we really do need it. If you guys didn't catch that we are doing a meet and greet with a bunch of the local YouTube channels here in Sandpoint, Idaho, there's details on our website, link to our website below. Mm -hmm. Check that out. Please come hang out with us. It's going to be a good time. Should be pretty fun. And we appreciate you guys watching this video. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.